Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Uh, my name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill, and you're having a look at our next contest there. Uh, but here's what we're going to do, you guys. I've got some uh, chicken in the smoker, which is really, really nice. Uh, if you've watched our show before, then you've uh, you've probably seen us make our uh, our grilled Caesar salad. And I'm telling you, man, it is crazy, crazy, crazy good. Uh, but I've always made it on like a grill or a griddle, something like that. So here's what we're doing this time. Sorry, I've always made it on like a Weber or a, a big green egg or something like that. But here's what we're going to do different. And what we're going to do this time is instead, we're going to try it on a flat top because I have never, ever, 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 ever tried this on a flat top. So we're going to play that game together. So I got my lettuce here just like this. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this uh, just kind of the side up real quick that I want actually down on the griddle. There we go, because what I want to do first is hit this with a little bit of da -da -da -da, garlic olive oil. There we go, that's nice stuff, right, like that. And the whole idea here is to get a little bit of a char on that lettuce. That's what you're looking for. So I'm gonna put that up out of the way, and we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot of our salt, pepper, and garlic, that's always good. Yum, just like that. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab these guys and just give these a flip. So have a look at what we've got and what we need here for, uh, uh, for our salad, okay? We got some tomatoes diced up. I got some onions that I'm gonna throw on real quick once we take the lettuce off. I got some cheese curds. I have a, a piece of bacon that never hit the grill for some reason. <laughs> so that's kind of fun. All right, let's have a look and see if we are where we wanna be with that char. Do I have a parrot tongue sticking around? I sure do. There we go. And there they are. All right, let's have a peek here. Oh yeah, can we see that? Look at that, you guys. That is perfect. That's what I'm looking for right there, is that, uh, that nice browning that's starting. Oh, and you, you see that dripping away? That is just, I don't know how to describe it, man. You gotta try this one of these times. I know how good it is on the Weber, and I know how good it is on the Big Green Egg. I gotta imagine it's just as good sitting here. So yeah, this is what I'm looking for right there. So I'm gonna pull these all off, and I'm gonna let them live on their plates. There we go. <laughs> am I missing a plate? I am missing a plate. There's one more here. And then I'm gonna go ahead, and we're gonna throw those onions on. So let's, uh, let's leave it on there for just a second. Now, uh, cool thing about this, you got some nice flavor in that lettuce, you got the nice flavor in those spices. So the, le the uh, onions is gonna pick that up off the grill when we go ahead and put those on. There we go, that's super nice. And I think our bacon is probably ready for a big flip here. Here we go, we do this all at once, ready? Hoi! Not bad, not bad, I did all right. There we go. This is uh, baconing away, I like that. The onions are doing their thing. We are gonna break this apart here in just a second. There we go. Oh, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a flip. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, and it's gonna start to pull this bacon apart because we wanna kinda put that nice and rough on our salad. There we go. What good is bacon if you can't put it on a salad? There we go. Love it. Okay, and now we'll get this all playing in here, just like that. All right, isn't that pretty? Oh man, I love when you can kind of combine a couple of pieces of cooking equipment. I think, I think, I think that we're ready to build these salads now. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a little bit of this over at a time. A couple of really pretty shots of everything hitting the ground. There comes a the dog. <laughs> Those two are the happiest dogs you've ever met in your whole life. And by the way, don't those salads look ridiculous? Here we go. On there, just like that. Oh, man, do those look good. There we go. Let's hit that with a little bit of color, just like that. Remember, guys, uh, this is one of those dishes that really, really, really kind of uh, uh, um, is out of the ordinary as far as, uh, you know, using your grill or using your griddle, but you're going to be so glad that you did this, let me tell you. So I got a little bit of cheese curds here, just like that. We'll uh, toss them around the back ones here. There we go. There we go. I think I forgot my tomatoes back here. And then just hang on that shot right there. And I'm gonna give this a little bit of our dressing and that is gonna finish this up. So listen, you guys wanna try something really cool? This is a great way to go. 
It really is. The, uh, uh, we use a creamy Caesar. You can use uh, uh, onion vid vidali if you want, if you're a blue cheese fan, which I am, uh, but the kids will hate me. <laughs> That's a really good thing to put in the blue cheese. Bottom line is, guys, this appetizer in a restaurant, throw a couple of stars behind the name, and you're looking at like a $14.95, $15.95 appetizer to get you going at a restaurant. That's one of the reasons that people love the whole outdoor grilling, getting together with people back, uh, uh, you know, in this fun environment rather than that one, because you save some dinero. You know what I'm saying? All right, so. Ready for this? Ready to see what's in here? All right, I need this one. You ready? Here we go. Oh my. Those are pretty. Look what we got there, you guys. A couple of nice big chickens, and we got some really, really pretty uh, baked potatoes. So let me go ahead, pull that out of there. By the way, the thermometer that I'm using, it's this guy here, and it's one of the ones that we're gonna give away. And you see it's all magnetized to the side. I love this thing. You can put four probes in that sucker. It's got a, uh, a part of it that goes along here, see that? So that, that kind of lives in the house and lets me know when my chicken's done, among other things. So let me go ahead, I'm just gonna empty these out. One at a time. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one of our chickens. Now we're using, oh, you see this? There, you want a juicy chicken? There's a juicy chicken. And we're gonna grab one of my favorite toys in the whole world, my electric knife. Look at this, you guys. What a beautiful meal that is. And it's so simple. That chicken, all we did was put it in the smoker, turn it on, walk away. It took about 90 minutes. The baked potato is perfect. Watch this. Isn't that nice? All right, stab it right in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> watch this. Nothing happened. There we go. Let's get that nice and billowy. There we are. Beautiful. Baked potatoes, lovely. And that salad, oh my goodness, that salad, if you try anything from what you just saw tonight, Try that salad, it's excellent. Okay, this is what we do. We walk over here and then we hit this I'm done being live button right down here. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, love you all, be good, we'll see you next time.